Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, y'all. Call me like a cherry pony. Call me like a cherry pony. Your boy done switched up on you. Call me like a cherry pony. Wait me, wait me, wait me, y'all. You guys look, if this is your very first time on this channel, run that subscribe for us. And after you subscribe, make sure you hit that notification bell beside the word subscribe so that you'll be notified each and every time that we upload a video. And then welcome to this great, 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 great family. Now that you're part of there's some things that we do. And we do them every day because they help us grow. Those things are comment, comment, comment like a share and go to the team. Comment like a share and go to the team. Comment like a share and don't forget to come in like a share, come in like a share, come in like a share, don't forget to come in like a share, come in like a share, come in like a share, don't forget to don't get to come in like a share. Okay, you gotta check this out. We're gonna pray. We're gonna get into the goodness. Here we go. Hey man, how y'all doing today? How y'all doing today? How y'all doing today? Over here to the side. The pin is in the building, y'all. There you go, there you go, there you go. The pin is in the building, y'all. There you go, there you go. Let's see if you're nice and fresh. Uh, here is. Also, hit the like I got my If you like your bottle, we'll talk to you some blue. Hit that link in right there. You need to live hot song. Emerge! Okay, guys. Also, over here, I've got my white onion over here. Lips hot sauce. I already said that. Today, little Ben has Diet Mountain Dew in him today. Diet Mountain Dew is what he got in him today. And you guys today for the food. Hey, Sunday dinner. You guys, we got some chitterlings over here. Some chillings. Right here, we have squash dressing. This is the last of it that I cooked the last time. And over here, we've got some collard greens. That's what we got. Let me put me some onion back here. And let's get this hot sauce ready. Put a lot of hot sauce in the greens. And definitely some on the chitterlings. Definitely, definitely. All right, y'all, we're going in for the squash dressing first. We're going in for it first. Oh, there you go. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> y'all, this squash dressing, mm -hmm. which I am preparing. It was so good. Mm -hmm. Mmm, I love me some squash dressing. Mmm, mmm, -hmm. So, y'all, happy Sunday. Happy Sunday, happy Sunday. Mmm, -hmm. we got some chillings. We got some chillings. Mmm, -hmm. we got some chillings. Mmm, there you first bite the chillings. I ain't got my tray down there, so. There you first bite the chillings. We got some chillings. Mmm. 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 Y'all found more chillings. Mmm. They popping up everywhere now, y'all. Not the season almost over with. Mmm. All right. Let's get some of these collard greens. Mmm. There you go. Mmm. 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 With these collard greens. Mm. 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 But then I thought about it. Mm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Mm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. We got the squash dressing. Mm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Mm. 
Mm. So, just like I read. Mm, mm, mm. But how y'all doing today? How y'all doing? Y'all, I've been out for a couple of days. Mm-hmm. Who thinks um, spring break started Friday? Mm-hmm. Mm. So, mm, I took a couple of days off for work because I was tired. Uh huh. I was. I was tired. Mm -hmm. We did a lot of work in March. We did. Mm. So, Friday. Mm. We gonna set this big live with um the big surprise. But then I was so tired Friday night. I couldn't do it. But anyway, it was an April pool, but still. Still. I didn't get to pull it off yet. Uh oh. I didn't drop my fork. Hello. Bye bye. Mm. 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 Y'all is good. Okay, I'm back. Y'all, I had to forgot I was here by myself. So I had to get, get my own board. <laughs> hey! I'm going for producer. Mm hmm. And producer is not him. You know, he's not. He's like the baby. Forget. I had him. Mm hmm. He did. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm, mm. Hold on, y'all. My bad, y'all. I forgot I hadn't sent a picture um, for Poussin's hair, the way she's getting her hair fixed today. I forgot I hadn't sent it to her beautician. So, I had to do that right quick. Anyhow. Mm-hmm. I pooped still hot to this thing. Mm-hmm. I pooped still hot, honey. Brand new. Y'all, mm, 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 mm. I'm tired this week. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Friday, I was really tired. Like, I can hardly get up out of bed. Mm -hmm. I pretty much stayed in bed all day long Friday. Pretty much all day. Because uh, I was tired. Just tired. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Let me see what she's saying. All right. Anyway. Uh, mm. Mm-hmm. Y'all, sometimes your body will sit down on you. If you don't give it enough red, mm -hmm, or liquid or food or anything else, mm -hmm. our bodies, you know, have their own safety mechanisms and ways of letting you know what they need. Like when you get thirsty. Mm hmm. Mm. Mm. That being the thirst is your own body. Telling you it needs liquid. Or hunger. Same thing. And in some cases, <clears throat> like certain vitamins and things that your body needs, you know, your body knows where it gets those um uh, nutrients from. <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? Like if it needs something like what I'm trying to say, like cravings. When you have cravings for certain things about the blue, that's your body's way of telling you there's something in that food mm, that it needs. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. 
Mmm. Young green is so good. But anyway, I was just tired, y'all. I was. Mm -hmm. I really was tired Thursday, to be honest with you. Um, and we weren't going to have a video Thursday, but I told my husband, I said, well, mmm, 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 mmm. Let's go out to lunch. Mm -hmm. And once I get there, if I feel like it, then we'll do a live move on. Uh, so we did a little ribbon around, and then I started to feel better. So we did the live mug on Thursday. Well, when I went to bed Thursday night, I stayed in bed all day Friday. All day. Just woke down. Mm -hmm. Just woke down, honey. So how's you all's weather? Mmm. Uh, mmm. 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 It's still a little cool here at nighttime, but in the daytime, my weather is magnificent. Mm hmm. Some days have a little overcast over them. You know. But the temperature is amazing. Mm hmm. Between 60 65, sometimes 70, low 70s, you know. Very comfortable. Very pleasant. Mm -hmm. So what's y'all having for Sunday dinner? Mm -hmm. I found two new um, programs on the internet today. Um, you know, church programs. Mm -hmm. One young man. Mm. He came on earlier. I forgot his name right now. Um, but I found him on Facebook. And um, he spit a powerful word today. A powerful word. Yes, he did. Mm-hmm. He really did. He was a young man, too. Like maybe uh, as young as 19. He was real young. No older than maybe 23. I mean, I'm just guessing his age, but he was really, really young. Now, he spoke a word. Yes, he did. About togetherness. And about, you know, how the body of Christ. Um, mm, that we all should be working together for the same goal. But that's not how, you know, the world of society today is. Yeah. It's not. Everybody out some power grab and he spoke a word. He did. He spoke a real word about how God is not pleased with us not being together in the journey that we're going through. You know, and the togetherness of communities and, you know, whereas um, back in the day, you know, our ancestors they believe in a village raising a child. There wasn't no such thing as a uh, uh, child running to nothing on no grown person. Because every grown person had every child's best interest at heart. You know? Mm-hmm. They all work together for a common goal. Mm-hmm. To get their children out of slavery, out of poverty. You know what I'm saying? To a better life. But now that we've made it out of slavery, you know, out of forced poverty, anyway. Mm-hmm. He was just saying God is not pleased with as far as we came. Mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. You know, as far as we came and, you know, what we could do today if we were together. Uh, he spoke a word, y'all. I can't paraphrase it all in there together like he had it. But he spoke a word. I was a young man. Mm-hmm. I saved his um, bookmark, whatever you say to the channel. But it was on Facebook. Mm-hmm. Yes, indeed. 
Mm-hmm. Then I found another program. Mm. Mm. Um, YouTube. It's like a live stream kind of sorta. Of. Well, it is a live stream, but they stream like um, I guess like old messages. You know, people preaching, and it was uh, what was that man name? Um, the whiny man. Mm, 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 mm. Mm. You know they do in um, that's in the Tyler Perry plays. Him, but it was real life. Where he was a real life preacher, you know, somewhere he was just carrying on the sermon. Mm -hmm. and I thought that was very interesting. And right after him was Shirley Caesar. So I subscribed to that channel soon. I can't think of the name of it. I think I did. I think I did. I hope I did. I know I did a Facebook thing. Because I saw it first. I know I did that. I hope I subscribe to this channel. It was on YouTube. Well, it was good, though. Mm -hmm. It was good. So then I decided I'm coming to have a Sunday dinner with you. Mm -hmm. Excuse me, y'all. I think I got my church in there and everything. Oh, excuse me. Um, yes, sir. So, like I said, what y'all having for Sunday dinner? And how's your Sunday being? Have, did you go to church? Did you go to church online? Um, mm, 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 mm. Or did you lay around today? Mm -hmm. Or did you lay around, honey? And do nothing? Which is okay. If that's how your Sunday went, I hope you got some rest. Mm-hmm. Who's saying just started her um her spring breakout? I know a lot of the kids went last month. But Pooh Sang just started her. So, we're trying to get situated because y'all know two weeks, actually two weeks exactly from today, mm, on the 17th, we'll be leaving for production's birthday trip, going to Jamaica. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We're going to take y'all with our pay for the Wi-Fi on the cruise boat for... Um, to be able so y'all can be there with us and everything. You know it. Lee, you know we're taking y'all. We're going to, um, um, <laughs> we got three, I think three stops on this cruise. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So y'all ready to go to Jamaica? We definitely gonna go in two weeks. Mm-hmm. We definitely gonna go in two weeks. Mm-hmm. To the island of Jamaica, man. Mm-hmm. I need to get up and give me, I want to give me some oxtail. Mm-hmm. I want to taste like, I want to taste how real Jamaica food. Say, so, you know, amongst other party flavors. <laughs> and I want to see how they really is up there in Jamaica. Hey. Uh-huh. Definitely. Mm-hmm. I want to go over there and see what it's like. Uh -huh. Because traveling, to me, is so educational. It's just really, really ill. It's so educational. Like, you learn so much about different cultures or... Even, in, even when you go to different states and stuff, you learn different things about... You know, they do things differently in every state. Uh, the laws are different in every state, you know what I'm saying? But I'm, I'm not necessarily speaking about that because hopefully you ain't having no in interactions with the law. But um, things are different in different places. I tell people all the time, it's about the corners. I tell my sister, it's about the corners. That's what it's about. Mm-hmm. No matter where you go in the world, mm, mm, it doesn't matter. That's somebody corner. For real. Every stone. Every everything. There's somebody corner. 
I want to see your corner. I'm saying corner, for those of y'all that need me to be technical about it. I'm saying corner. But corner, that's a corner store. For somebody, let's say corner store. You know? <clears throat> I want to see who starts at your corner store. Mm -hmm. I do. Do they sell CDs at your corner store? Do they sell um, the body oils at your corner store? You know? On the outside, you know, people that come to you and say, you know, I got three for 15, whatever they want. What is your corner store? It's about the corners. I want to see corners. As many corners as I can before I leave here, honey. I want to know what's on them corners. For real. Mm-hmm. I tell that's, that's how I explain it to my sister. I mean, it for me the reason why we travel so much and we go so many places. I told you guys before because I definitely want my daughter to be well rounded. I want her to be done seen some things, you know what I mean, in her life before she gets old enough to start making decisions for her life, uh, on her own. You know, but um it's about corners, you know what I mean? For real. Mm hmm because, of course, the tourist attractions are always good to see. Um, you know what you're going there for, and you know, that kind of stuff. But I had the most fun looking around the corners, for real. I do. But I just a corner I ain't never seen before. You may see it every day. In your neck of the neighborhood, you may see that corner every day. But I ain't seen that corner. And if the good Lord wake me up, I want to see another corner. I really do. I want to see another corner. I don't know what it is about corners, but the corner store. I don't see what yours look like. Mm hmm. Because more, more time than not, all of those things at those attractions, those big buildings and pretty bridges and shiny exhibits, everything is controlled there. You know what I mean? Everything is controlled there. You don't get the true essence of what the place is about there. Because everything is controlled because it's a tourist attraction. But at the cone store, hey, that's what you really see. What really go down, baby. Like they say, down in the DM. <laughs> at the cone store, where you really see what go down. You know? Mm-hmm. But think about it. If you're at the cone store, you can see how hospitable people are. Whether they open doors for each other or not. You know? Were they willing to give a dollar to the, the less fortunate man standing there, woman standing there? You know, you get to learn a lot about a place at the corner store. I didn't get robbed at the corner store. Yeah! Are people getting out of their cars with their handbags up against them in their hands? Because I've been places like that before. Where people got out of their vehicles and put secured their handbags, you know, in front of them. To make sure the handbag was, you know, I've been places like that before. You learn a lot at the cone store. You really do. If you're at a place where people, more than one time you sit there, and people pull up and leave their motor running and music playing, they go in the store and this and that, this and that, this and that, you see like that, that's a safe place to be. Because that's their corner store. You see what I'm saying? They know what's going on in that corner. So if you're at a place, even though it's, it's kind of, un, I mean, for me, uh because I lived in Memphis, Tennessee. Oh, uh, huh. You know, that's where we from, Memphis, Tennessee. And now we're here in Atlanta. And uh, not to say either one of those places um, are terrible, terrible places to live, but you don't want to come go up to the store and leave your car right outside. You don't want to do that. All right? You know, but if you're at the corner store, you get to learn a lot about what the place has to offer, how the people are. At the corner store, for real, think about it. If you say at the corner store, filling up with gas, and you see three people jump out of their car, one at the gas, one at the gas pump, one upside the door, one up here on the side, getting out, whatever, it doesn't really matter. But all, all of them going inside the store and leave their car running, don't nobody bother them, nobody even looked that way twice. You're probably in, 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 in a safer part of, uh, you, you're probably in a safe neighborhood, is what I'm saying. Because that's their corner store. 
that's their corner store. So they know what the neighborhood is like. You know, I just think that you learn a lot at the corner store. For real. You learn more about a place at the corner store. So that's the reason why I want I want I want to turn a few more corners. I want to see your corner. See what's going on on your corner. Anyway, y'all think it about him. Sunday dinner was good. It was. It was good. And I'm glad to have came and shared it with you. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. I really do. I hope you have enjoyed. Um, y'all, if you don't have a church home, find you one online. I know a lot of people are still not going to church, um, you know, since COVID started and things and stuff and everything. And yeah, they have masks and we found ways of doing other stuff. Um, but some people just won't sit in buildings with stagnant air, you know, with, with, you know, they just want to do it, recirculate the air, whatever you want to say. Uh, but y'all find your church home, uh, online. They got some beautiful people out there that are delivering some beautiful messages, um, online, you know, I really do. I watch old Thaddeus Matthews sometimes. Yep. Thaddeus Matthews can bring a word. The cousin pastor. I know a lot of y'all know who he is and everything. He from Memphis, Tennessee too. And a lot of people don't agree with his unorthodox way of what he does, but that man saves souls too. Believe it or not, whether you know it or not, he does. That man saves souls. Mm-hmm. He really does. And he can preach too. That man can preach. You know, a lot of people are all put by him because he cuss and stuff. But whatever, but one thing he does, he put that Bible out there like a T I E S. You hear me? For real. He done. He preached soon. Anyway, just search around. You know, there's ways of going to church and get you a little word in on Sundays or Wednesday nights, whatever they are. Um, just look around. Anyway, y'all finna go. My stomach full. I love y'all, love y'all, love you. I hope you guys have enjoyed our radio. So, how about doing DJ? Thank you guys so, so much for being here. We truly appreciate each and every one of you because you did not have to be here. You could have chosen to be with us in the world. But you tell me right here with us, and we love you for it. Mm -hmm. So I'm existing DJ. Hey, round and round we go. Hey, round and round we go. I love you guys so, so much. And I'm going to see you guys next time, okay? Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, y'all. You guys look. Always remember that there's always more than one way home. All you still have to do is get there. So get there, people. Get there. I love you all. And I'm going to see you guys next time. And if you're not even watching me next time, you have lied to me. And I know you lie. Period. <laughs> bye bye. Mwah. Woo. Yes, sir. Y'all. I hope you all are doing great. I really, really am. I mean, I really, really do. This is our first video in April. Like I said, I was supposed to be doing this thing Friday on the live for April food for y'all. But it didn't work out. I was tired. I couldn't get up. I really, really could. Anyway, y'all, take care of yourself. Take care of yourself. Take care of yourself. Because like I said, my body shut down on me Friday. Um, and I just couldn't wake up. Every time I would wake up, I would get up and get me something to drink or use the restroom or whatever situation may have you. And I would come back and lay down and get my phone and try to get into the day before I realize that I'm waking up again. It's two, three hours later. Uh, and it happened several times Friday. So I was in the bed just about all day Friday. Um, recuperating, getting rest. It's like my body was just drugged down. Well, like I said, we did do a lot of work in March. We did. We put up something like 31 days in March. We put up something like 27 videos out of 31 days. And that ain't counting the lives. So we did a lot of work in March. We really did. We really did. And April, we getting ready to let's get it. Let's go. Like I said, y'all, I pay for the, the Wi-Fi for us to be able to be together on the boat and everything uh, on the cruise. We leave exactly in two weeks. Uh, exactly two weeks. Two weeks from today, we'll be gone. We'll be getting boarding the boat and getting up out of here. And we're going to take y'all with us and everything and everything. Y'all ready to go to uh, Jamaica? You ready to go to Jamaica, man? <laughs> Are uh, y'all ready to go to Jamaica Mine? Because we sure could be on our way to Jamaica Mine. Mm, go get us some of that good island food over there, honey. That's what we on our way to. We got to get us some oxtails. That's for, that's for sure. We got to get us some oxtails and everything. 
Uh, but yeah, I just want to go over there and uh, 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 experience some things over there in Jamaica, man. <laughs> anyway, y'all, I'm finna go. I'm finna go, I'm finna go, I'm finna go. I love you guys so, so much. I'm sure to do. I love each and every one of you guys, okay? We will see you next time. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.